Hello, I'm Councillor Alexander Amon, Chair of the Transport and Air Quality Committee at Richmond Council. Behind me you can see the works of a multi-million pound investment we're making in the structure between Ham and Teddington to secure this vital crossing for the future of all the borough's residents. Hi, my name is Sam Emmett and I'm the Lead Engineer, Project Manager in the Vital Improvement Works to Teddington Lock Footbridges. In Richmond of Pond Thames, we have 71 council-owned bridges which undergo regular inspection to make sure they are in good condition. The two footbridges over Teddington Lock were built between 1887 and 1889. Following the inspection of the bridges, we found that due to their age, some essential maintenance works are needed to ensure they can continue to be used safely for many years to come. These works started in June this year and involve removing the areas of corrosion, repairing and replacing any steel work across both structures, along with the application of a new protective paint system. We are also undertaking repair works to the timber structures on the island between the bridges and on the ham approach. Following the removal of the corrosion, we are also carrying out detailed visual inspections of the bearings on Lockup Bridge. These critical pieces of infrastructure are central to the safe operation of the bridge by allowing them to flex and absorb movement during hot and icy spells of weather. Without this ability to expand and contract due to weather conditions, the bridge structure would sustain damage, rendering it unsafe. A bespoke access system has been developed that allows the majority of work to be completed whilst maintaining access across both bridges. However, we have had to restrict access to the bridges when working on the inside of the parapets due to the bridge's restrictive width. I am pleased to report that the progress of the preparation is going very well and we are now working on the welding, steel repairs and painting. Phase 2 of the refurbishment is to replace the ferry road approach ramp. Concurrently with this phase, we intend to respond to any requirements highlighted through the inspections of the bearings on Lock Gut Bridge. This will involve a design stage to understand not only the bearing details, but the temporary works requirements to undertake any bearing replacement works. I'd like to take a particular moment to thank the local community for their patience during these essential repairs because there are periods of closure and disruption. With such a complex project there's more work to be done and we are diligently working to ensure that we have the resources to complete all the work that are needed to safeguard this structure's long-term future. In the meantime we've worked with line bikes to provide transport on both sides of the bridge for those short periods when access over the bridges is temporarily restricted and we've seen a great take up from this demand and the provision provided. To make sure that you're kept directly informed about any updates relating to the works on this structure and how they might affect you, please do sign up to the Council's dedicated mailing list on the Richmond Council website. Thank you.